Hey everyone, uh, Masus here. Hope you had a great day. For today's episode, I want to implement the community tab of the React Native wallpaper application together. And just before I start, I want to say, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do it now using below button and to get uh, new episodes uh, faster than others. Yeah, let's start. Here you can see it's my community tab and I have used it inside if I'm correct yeah inside tabs we have a tab and I loaded it from here okay let's complete it together I don't need it for now Okay, uh, I need a V component for here. It's kind of a container for me and I'm gonna set some styles. Styles main container and we will define it later. And within it, I just want to use a flat list Yeah, it will be imported from React Native. Actually, if you want to show items in a list, the better, the best way actually to do it is using flat list. It uh, uh, works on both Android and iOS, and it's very well performing uh, regarding to memory usage or another things. And just it, let's use it. Uh, you should specify several props uh, and the data props is necessary you should pass an array to it uh, for now I want to pass state users and uh, we also need a function to render uh, every single element of this array so render item i should specify a function we haven't write it yet but we will do it render item let's just complete the props and key exec traitor uh, you should specify this uh, because if you don't do that do this uh, uh, you will get some warnings because in react as you probably know we have to have uh, different keys for every element inside the list so it will be an error function and i'm gonna return um, i dot id actually because it's a unique identifier and to another props on and reach uh, actually it is for for example if I'm a scrolling list to the down and uh, uh, it can load new items for me so I should uh, define a function here and when uh, flat list uh, come at the bottom side it will automatically run on and reach function so I'm gonna use another function and tell that uh, if the state is not is loading, so get some data for, for for me. I'm gonna use load data, yeah, and pass current page to it plus one. It means that call this function for me and uh, get the next data for my list and finally i want to specify on and read threshold and i'm gonna set it 0.5 nothing is left we wrote our flat list and let's complete it First of all, I want to specify my styles. I'm gonna use a style 
uh, style, what was it? Style sheet. Yeah, I should import it from React Native style sheet. And as before, we are going to have a styles uh, object. Lots of spelling problems, sorry. <laughs> style sheet. Create API and then within it, I just want to define main container and within it, again, justify content should be sender and yeah, that's enough. And here I want to have an account rate constructor and props. Set the super method with props again and finally defining our states. This that state equals to an object and within it I'm gonna have users array uh, and the initial value will be empty array <coughs> page. The current page will be one and it's loading should be true because at first i'm gonna load the data so it's better to set this loading variable true and what else do i need yeah let's first uh, call the load data when our component is mounted so component did mount and Within it, I'm gonna lo uh, call load data and the page should be one and load data. Uh, actually, it will accept a page variable and inside this function, I am going to call an API from unsplash.com that we previously uh, got the details from uh, unsplash developer area and uh, we just going to get the data and convert it to the JSON and set our state. So let's first set the state is loading to true. You may have this question that uh, at first is loading is true why we are uh, setting it to true again it is because uh, when we load new items for, for example for the second page uh, is loading is not true so we have to set it true okay uh, I am going to use fetch to get the data and a parameter, the first one is the URL for it. HTTPS API on splash com search users client ID is going to be my access key. Access key, let's import it. import access key from where was it config yes okay and What else do we need? We have to specify which page we need. So again, page variable here and finally, I need to specify a kind of uh, query that I'm sending. It's community type query. Yes, 
and get the data from our response JSON. And setting the state, set state users is going to be an array. And first, I want to add uh, the previous uh, fetched data. So state users and and the data that we recently got from the server so results map and i just want to uh, remove unnecessary elements from results so using map function and just i need id and name I should use first name, avatar, profile, image, medium, and bio. And also I want to, mm, let me check. Yeah, it's the end of users. I want to set the page and set is loading to false. I guess we have a small problem here. Oh my God. them and no what is wrong with it I don't understand what is the problem here. Oh, 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 we forgot to write it asynchronous. Yeah. And I need to import view from React Native. Yes. I also need to write this function render item item uh, actually when you use flat list it will send an object to you and within it you will access to each single item of this array that you have passed using data so I'm going to return a list item from native ways to show actually list items. It's better to use this. You can do it yourself using views and uh, having your uh, customized styles, but I'm not going to do that because uh, there is a good uh, element for it. So let's see left side. I'm gonna show the user avatar, so thumbnail component, and it should be a square, and the source should be written in this way. URI equals to the URL of avatar. And what else do I need? 
nothing for this and for the body section or the center side I'm gonna have a text here item name and another text for bio but because bio is a kind of passage and it may have multiple uh, rows uh, so it's better to specify note and set the number of lines to one in order to not uh, ruin your uh, styles okay and the right section just the button and it's better to be a transparent button and within it I'm gonna use text again to show view uh, label here left should be imported body I don't know why it hasn't done it for us yeah you can see that all the data uh, are uh, got from the server and we can see user avatar here our button is here but if I click on it uh, nothing's happened because I haven't defined uh, unclick unpress for it let me check it seems that we don't have enough data for it let's change it oh we've forgotten to fix it styles But I guess uh, we don't have enough data from the API and let me check it. Just adding a console log. Okay, after a small research, I found that the problem is uh, we just have 10 items in each page from Unsplash API and I couldn't find any way to increase this amount. So I'm going to load, uh, actually preload two pages at first and then we uh, can load more pages. So I'm gonna change it to an asynchronous function and using a way to first get the data from page one and then get the data from second page yes let me see okay you can see that uh, for us two pages loaded and if i scroll to down it will automatically load more options for me and it will do it for us until the end okay guys thank you for watching this episode be with us for the other tabs in next episode see you